fly ball to deep left field. The Dodgers Ben Frankie. Did you believe a home run? And the Dodgers have clinched the division and will celebrate on schedule. Leave it to the Dodgers. Charlie Culver's in a game-winning home run. What a moment to have it. And would you believe his first home run of the year? High fly ball, well tagged this time. And Junior going back to the track. The wall makes the leap and makes the catch. Amazing catch by Junior as he takes a home run away from Luis Gonzalez. My, oh my. Perfect timing and Junior receiving a standing ovation here. Time skies over Wrigley Field on the north side of Chicago. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the New York Mets and the Chicago Cubs. Should see some great battles out of these two next on the show. Mike Montgomery gets the starting nod for the Cubs in this one. HR, what's the word on him? Well, Matt, he's putting together an outstanding season on the mound. I mean, anytime you have an ERA in the low threes, you've had a solid year. He's taking care of his own business. He's pitching deep in game and giving his team a chance to win every time he goes out. And I think the same will be today. He's going to give them an opportunity to win this game because he'll pitch well. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He is, of course, a guy to be wary of if he gets on base. A stolen base total leads the ball club. And a wasted pitch there, one and two. Game time temperature tonight, 62 degrees, but should drop into the 50s before we're done. Grounded back up the middle. Russell has it. Throw on to first will take care of Reyes, and that's how we get things started. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? Well, Matt, I can't wait to see if La Potencia, Yoana Cespedes, can keep it going. This guy knows how to drive in runs. Had over 25 runs batted in last month. You've got to pay attention to how he goes about it. Ground balls, fly balls, home runs, any way to drive in a run, and that's what he's doing. He tries to have a major impact on every game he plays in. Looks at a changeup that catches the corner. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Mike Fillmore. Well, Fillmore is the type of umpire. He's going to give you a little in some areas and take away the others. And what I mean by that, he's going to call a little wider on the corners. But up and down, he's going to take that away from you. Hit hard on the ground towards second. There's Zobris to get it. It's in time. Big league play in the hole right there, and that's a pretty good example of why getting hits at this level is so difficult. You know he was running down the line thinking, for real? You got to be kidding me. Stepping in now, Michael Conforto. And there's ball two now. Well, Harold, as we take a look at the Cubs coming into play here tonight, despite the loss last time out, they'd won four in a row, so they'd been on a nice little roll here. Yeah, Matt, I mean, everything's working for them. They've increased their lead in their division. They're blowing everybody away. The challenge, I think, moving forward is just to stay focused and motivated as they know they're going to be a playoff team. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So the two-out hit means that Joanna Cespedes will bat this inning. Well, a couple things with that base hit right Not there by the three hitter. One, right he thought he was going to get Joanna out of this inning pretty Sesspeter. easy. And now you put him in a stretch. The middle of this lineup is no joke. He can find himself in danger real quick. Here's Juana Cespedes. And as the season nears an end, he currently leads the league and runs batted in. Here's the one and two delivery. Line but speared on a hop. Throw the second for the force out and the side is retired. Mets lead one. Now the Cubbies will get their first crack. No score. 
Noah Sindergaard, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. What do you have for us on him, H? Matt, he's coming off an amazing performance. He struck out a ton of guys. His stuff is working right now for him. Everything for strikes. The hitters look like they're lost. Hopefully we'll see another performance like that in this game. In now is John Jay. Career numbers versus Syndergaard. A three for seven line. From the windup, the one one pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Ligares is under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. And a chance now from the north side of Chicago to check out the Cubs' starting lineup. H, what are they going to have to do to force a rubber match in this series? Well, this is the new model of teams that we see. Strikeout doesn't matter. They're the top third in the league in strikeouts, so we're going to see a lot of swings and misses today. But if they catch one, look out. Here's Addison Russell. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Oh, he goes up the ladder on the fastball and pops this one up. Reyes ranging into the outfield. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Here's Chris Bryant now. He enters play in the hunt for the league's home run crown, but he'll have some work to do down the stretch. And a called strike on the outside corner there. It's full now, three and two. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Conforto moves over, and the inning is over. Cubs are down in order. Still no score. Here's the third baseman David Wright. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. This is flared out towards second and this is taken for the out. Let's take a look at the Cubbies defensively brought to you by Majestic. And at first base Anthony Rizzo. Another one of those guys that can pick the ball out of the dirt for you. But I love the fact he's aggressive and he'll make that throw to home. He'll throw it to second and he'll even dive in the stands for you if he needs to. Settling in now T.J. Rivera and as you can see he's seen that average climb the last week or so. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Caesar on the move. Two gone. Batting seven. Catherine. Rene Rivera. Now at the plate, Rene Rivera hitting right at the one for four pace with a 250 batting average for the season. From the windup, the one one pitch. There's that heavy sinker for strike number two. Here's the one and two delivery. To short, hit hard. Russell's got it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two, and we are tied nothing, nothing. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. Power a big part of his game as he enters this contest number five in the National League home run race. Very weakly on the ground. That winds up foul. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Conforto shading to his right. He's got it one away. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And at third base, the captain, Captain America, David Wright. I love the fact that he still has great footwork. The first step may be as good as anybody in the history of the game. He can still catch it, but I love that first step. 
And this is chopped foul at the plate, and he stays alive, still 0-2. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove, and he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. And he'll stay alive here as this is chopped foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. Again, a one two. Nope. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Conforto is there. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Here's Ben Zobris now. And he has been part of the cliche in Fuego of late. Seen that average shoot up quite a bit over the past eight ball games. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. Swing and a miss and that ends the inning. Three up three down for the Cubs. We'll move to the third with no score. Here's Juan Ligares. He's got that average up over the 290 mark to begin play. Called strike on the inside and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. To two balls and two strikes now. Now the pitch. Line toward right center. And they'll start this inning off with a base hit as that one's through. Well, this is what you want from the guy hitting in front of the pitcher. You lead off the inning with the Got base hit. Now it sets catcher. up the inning. Do you bunt no, uh, him over? Do you hit the run? Go. Do you allow him to steal? A lot of things can happen now. Digging in, Noah Sindergaard. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Now a bunt attempt here. Throw on to first in time, one away. Shortstop Digging in seven. to try it again. Jose, Jose Reyes. Reyes, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready on three and one, here it comes. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Schwarber moving to his left. And he makes the catch for the second out. The Riding in once again as Rubel Cabrera over one here in the Cabrera. early going. And that's on the outside corner, one and two. Hit hard on the ground to second. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Mets strand one. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. And here's a ball hit in the air. And Cabrera will take this one for the first out. So with one Got gone for him here in the inning, let's Hector. check out our current standings. Mike. And you can Mike. see they enter play with a two-game lead in the division race. At the plate, Mike Montgomery. Cubs to this point have yet to break into the hit column. Hit down the line at first. Rivera picks it up, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Batting ninth, right fielder, Max 
Caesar. Now to the plate, Matt Caesar. The season batting average comes in down in the 240s. Now a flare out toward right center. Cabrera ranging into shallow right, and that ends the inning. Cubs are down in order. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. With Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as Michael Conforto digs into the left-handed side of the batter's box to start things out. Ready on one and two. Lays off two and two now. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love. It. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. Caesar is in a few steps as he takes it for the first down. Up next for the Mets. At the plate, Joanna Cespedes comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's the one and one delivery. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. Well, he clearly read the scout report. This guy's been sizzling hot, and look at how careful he's been pitching him. Yeah. Two and two. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. On the move is Jay. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. The third baseman, number five. Ready for David another chance? Wright. David Wright. He's 0 for 1 thus far. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And the cutter can't find the zone as he surrenders the base on balls here. Well, they've been unable to get to this guy, so they'll take Off base runners the any way they can First get him. At the very least, you make him work from the stretch and add to his pitch total. Hey. In there at the letters, one and two now. Ready on one and two. Hit toward the right side. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Mets leave one. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Stepping in and ready for another shot, John Jay back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Well, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. Striding in, Addison Russell. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Here's the pitch on two and two. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. I'll tell you right now this guy has a shutout going and it's been all business. He's not messing around trying to pick at corners. He's being aggressive in the zone and he's attacking each and every one of these hitters up to this point. Into his motion here comes the three and one and this is taken low for ball four and they'll have themselves a two out base runner here after all. Hey, they haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Softly hit toward the hole. Underhanded flip. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One left for the Cubs. Through four. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. 
Digging in for his second at bat. Rene Rivera comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now. Three and two. Well, he's been throwing the ball pretty well so far, but right here, three balls to the leadoff guy to maybe get them a chance to get them going. He's just got to come back, make him swing the bat. I'd rather see him earn his way on the base by swinging the bat instead of a walk. Well, I think that might have been ball four, but you never want the umpire to decide that. Let's Go ahead and let it fly. Juan Lagares. Into the box, Juan Ligares. A good knee-high changeup taken for a strike. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you can get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit it into the dirt and turn one over for you. Skied into very shallow right. Caesar moves over. One out. Now with the plate, Petra. Noah Syndergaard. Noah he successfully Syndergaard. laid down a sack bunt in his last plate appearance. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Now a bunt attempt here. In time to first, and there are two away. Digging in once again, Jose Reyes. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Jay will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Met strand one. Halfway home, still no score. Into the box, Kyle Schwarber. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now the pitch. Looks at a curveball called for a strike. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. And another foul ball. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. Chop foul over towards the dugout. He'll try again, one, two. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. Here's another one, two. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Well, you talk about fighting. He's fouling balls off, fouling them off in the one-two count. He finally took the ball right there. I wonder if he feels more confident or he wants to keep swinging. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Kyle Schwarber is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Here's Ben Zobris now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And he looks at a sinker for a cold third strike, and now there are two gone. A look at our line score to this point, and I'm almost the certainly jinxing 40. things by pointing Wilson. it out, but it's oh, worth Sarah. mentioning that zero in the hit column through two outs here in the fifth. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. way outside one and two hey I know you have to protect the strike zone when you get the count to two strikes but on an 0 2 pitch that misses by that much it's pretty easy for a hitter not to swing at that one Rivera has got it and the side is retired three up three down for the Cubs sixth inning coming up still zip zip Here now is his dribble Cabrera. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far.
into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called, one away. Well, at the plate, he kind of got bailed out on that previous pitch. I think it should have been a strike. Then he goes down looking, and you really can't feel too sorry for him. Not a lot of protecting with two strikes there. Standing in now, Michael Conforto. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Have to protect there with two strikes, and he just got it off the end of that. Not much of a problem for the infield at that point. Here's the one and one pitch. Now a fastball as he has to lean out of the way there. Hey, one of the things every pitcher wants to do is make sure that those hitters aren't very comfortable up there. See how he runs this hard one in right here? That's a pitch you just want to try to get a hitter to move his feet a little bit. Change up, call to strike, and he comes back even at two and two. And this pitch is taken high and away to fill the count. It's three and two. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Throw on to first gets him, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. And this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Mike Montgomery comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 1 2. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. Into the box now, Matt Caesar. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Lined is short, but gobbled up there, and there are two away. Now batting, center fielder. In now is John Jay. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. And he gets ahead with a sinker on the outside. And he lays off it to even the count 2 and 2. All even at 2 and 2. Here it is. And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six innings without allowing a base hit. Former cover boy David Wright leads things off when we come back. And we still have no score. Welcome back here to the historic friendly confines of Wrigley Field. Neither team denting the run column quite yet as we look at the game summary through the first six innings of play. Here's the third baseman David Wright and guys seventh inning already. Hey I'm not complaining but this one's been flying by. Yeah I'll agree with that Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all and they've trusted their defense to make the plays and they've done just that. Yeah and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. And that brings up it? the catcher T.J. Rivera. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Working for the punch out and the offering. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Go ahead runs the board here at first with nobody out. Swing and a ball hit fairly well, heading high and deep toward right center. 
And that is down for extra bases. And with nobody out, we'll see if they want to wave that go-ahead run home. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants now them to be so far Patrick. this year. But Rene you never know Rivera. by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. On his way toward the mound now is skipper Joe Madden and he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So he'll leave with a couple of runners aboard that are his responsibility meaning he'd be happy Your to get out of here with a no decision. Koji Uwakara is going to have Number his 19. work cut out for him here. Oh, Two runners in scoring wow. position so he'll try to leave them right where they are. In now, Rene Rivera. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. Schwarber moving to his left. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And a relay home. But it is not in time as they take the lead here in the late going. Hey, putting together good at bats late in the, the games can the really one. help out. And how about one, this sack fly one, right one. here? Good at bat that leads to his team getting the lead here in the late innings. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right hander has begun to get loose. Getting a few steps off a second there now the pitch and a splitter swung on and missed that time and that'll be out number two. Now batting. Riding in once Pitcher. again Noah Syndergaard Noah Syndergaard. and a chance now to increase his lead if he can deliver something here with two gone. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Grounded up the first baseline. Obviously, he wants to help himself out right here. With two strikes, that's going to be difficult to do. Let's see if he can put the ball in play. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. Get out the microphone. Stretch time here at Wrigley. It's the Mets one and the Cubs nothing. Here's Addison Russell. He'll start things out against Noah Syndergaard as this inning is underway. One and one. Here it comes. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Cespedes has to come in a few steps but he has it for out number one. Up next for so another exceptional Third effort baseman. for him on the mound. He's got Brandon. the shutout working Ryan. here as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you see there on the graphic his total good for fifth best in the National League. Ready for another chance. Chris Bryant 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Foul back. I like the pitch right there. Got it to chase a fastball out of the zone. I'd come back with it again. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Got him. So that's the second out of the inning, and he's seven outs away now. That was a good job tying him up inside on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't even in the strike zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. Into the box now, Anthony Rizzo. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Zero. And he struck him out to retire the side, so he's through seven complete, still working on a masterpiece. Cubs are down in order. They're down one nothing. Fernando Rodriguez has been summoned from the bullpen, as he'll do so to start the eighth. Fernando. Rodriguez. Digging in once again, Jose Reyes. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. 
Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Bryant scoops it up and he is out at first as Reyes couldn't quite beat out the bunt that time. Digging in to try it again as Dribble Cabrera. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Faces are empty, one man out. And here's a ball hit in the air. Schwarber sprinting after it. He can't get to it. This one's down. When you're hot, that's what happens. Balls like that fall in How for you. When you're cold, that I gets caught. It. This is a hot Michael streak he's on right now, so you take advantage of it. Ride it while it's good. Into the box, Michael Conforto. Swing and a miss, strike three. The throw. He's out. Short hop, but he's out. Great play to pick the throw and slap the tag on him to end the inning. One hits all they get. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Mets lead this one one to nothing. Ready for another shot now. Kyle Schwarber. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And he struck him out for the first out of the inning, but perhaps more importantly, he's five outs away now. Pitching certainly has been on display in this one. And there's the evidence of it right there. One nothing our score, as there are an awful lot of zeros on that line score to this point. Here's Ben Zobrist now. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one, that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at-bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. On 0-2, you'll sometimes get a guy to chase a fastball out of the zone away or up. But when it's way down like that, it's much easier to lay off because you can tell the ball is moving further away from eye level as it comes in. Standing in, Wilson Contreras. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a line drive to left. In there for extra bases, and there goes the no hitter. Legs churning, he's headed for second. And hold all tickets now as the tying run gets into scoring position with a two out double. Catcher, Fernando Rodriguez. Tommy will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number two, Tommy Lestella. And now with the possible tying run at second here, we're going to have a pinch runner as they try to get a little more speed out there. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Two balls and a strike. Career numbers versus Syndergaard. A perfect two for two. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Fastball is looked at for strike two. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two out double. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. Your Justin Grimm enters from the pen to start the ninth Coco inning Coco. as he'll try to keep Number the score 52. right where it is, heading to the Justin bottom of the ninth. Grimm. 
Miguel Montero is into the ball game here as he now takes over behind the plate. Number 47, Miguel Montero. Here's your one assessment. Do up are the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Two and one now to Cespedes. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys. So we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Oh, the good curveball there. And it's three and two. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And a great start to the ninth as this ought to be extra bases. And he will pull in here with a leadoff double. So he waited till the ninth the inning, but he comes through here five. to extend the hit streak. That was close. Well, you can tell he's got ice water in his veins. No pressure. Gets up there in the ninth with this streak going and delivers. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. Yeah, I'm not Objects sure if that was that. intentional or not. First but I do know when a guy at the plate is a stud like that and first base is open, there's absolutely zero reason to put the ball in the strike zone. I think he was trying to work around him, and it just got away. Stepping in now, T.J. Rivera. As he lets it in the air to right field. Moving under it, Caesar, one away. Now batting, catcher. Ready once Rene again, Rene Rivera. He singled earlier, making him one for two to this point. Here it comes on one and one. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. From the stretch. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Calling for it. Caesar. Two gone. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Here's Juan Ligares. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Two men are on with two men out. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. Trying to keep the deficit right where it is, the pitch. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Full count. Three and two. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Back up the middle. Russell with a great stop to first. Got him. Oh, and that looked destined to be an RBI, but a highlight reel stab put an end to that thought. The defense on display on this beautiful diving stop at short. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Now at the plate, Matt Caesar. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. It looks like fatigue's not going to be a factor for him. He's still popping the glove in the high 90s, and we're late in the game right now, Matt. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, and he'll take this to the bag himself. One gone here in the ninth. And hey, if the first baseman is playing straight up there, that's probably a double down the line. But in order to prevent that late in the game, they had him guarding the line, and it obviously worked out perfectly. Standing in now, John Jay. Now a swing and a bouncing ball for the shortstop, Reyes. 
throw on to first gets him and that means the Cubs are down to their final out now. Here's Addison Russell. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah Matt they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. As them down to their final strike here it comes. And this is Pop fouled off to the right and back into the seats. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And he'll put this one away for the final out. And the Mets have taken the first two games of this series on the road as this one is over. Oh, man. So close, but yet so far. Can you imagine giving up one hit, pitching such good baseball for nine innings, but one base hit kept him from baseball history? And that one run held up tonight, one nothing the final. Noah Syndergaard gets his league-leading 22nd win as he allows only one hit in nine full innings. Mike Montgomery takes the loss despite allowing only one unearned run. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, Final follow us on Twitter at MLB The for Show. The victorious New York Mets. One run on six hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. The 2-0. He throw to right and deep. Back goes Para to the wall, and it's off the wall. 3,000 is in right field, and Ichiro is racing for third, and he's done it. He's climbed the mountain, a triple, and he has arrived at 3,000. And again the 2-2, and here it is. And swung it, hit the left field deep, way back. Ruins turning around. He 